Hi, bros. I know art. I know luxury. I know taste. I am taste. Today, I will choose which one cheap, which one expensive. You will play along. Let's go. Which jacket costs close to 2000? Okay, well, I know, I know, I know it's B. <laughs> I know it's B, there's no doubt. Because they said it's Montclair, and there's no way that's... And they spelled it wrong, didn't they? It's not Montclair? Oh, never mind. Yeah, that ain't Montclair, that's Montclair. B, please. Told you, bitch! I know expensive. <laughs> Come on! Easy. I actually expected this to be a little difficult, but I guess not. Alright, which of these current shirt costs around 350? Well, it's definitely A. Yeah. The bees is a meme shirt. I feel like B could be, but I definitely would have seen it if it was expensive. That's how deep I am in dumb luxury products. Come on, do I know the difference between a fucking Rolex and a Daniel Wellington? Yes, I do. Thank you. What the f is this? Even just by looking at them, even if you didn't see the brand, you would know A is more expensive. Come on. Although with watches, I will say that's one of those things where like, you remove the brand, a lot of times you can't tell, right? So it kind of contradicts what I just said, but you know what I mean. Anyhow, uh, which pair of jeans cost around 450? This is a little tougher. I would, uh, mm. <laughs> One is Amazon, the other one's Diesel. I'm pretty sure it's A. Having really heavy jeans, uh, they look like a really long cut too. Wash that way, I think it's pretty expensive. It's rare to see really expensive. God, I became such a snob. I did this as a joke. It's A. I went wrong. They're 25 bucks. Fuck me. I take back everything. I was so confident. Okay, good. I needed that. I needed a little uh, backaroning. Okay. One is Amazon, uh, the other one is Bedwin. I'm gonna have to guess B, but <laughs> just from the sheer size and uniform pattern, I feel like. When you add a bunch of stuff like this, it kind of cheapens it a little bit. Alright, so we got Yeezys or what is it? Converse? Adidas or Converse? What? Which one am I supposed to guess? The Yeezys? Oh, this is a tough one. I think B. I think B. Yeah. It looks like that uh, weird fabric that a lot of expense. Oh, it's Bulgari. Okay. Is it just me? Have you gotten equally good so far? I don't know. I don't wear jackets. I actually have no idea. Realistically, would Amazon sell the B-type pattern? Yeah, they would. Maybe A. Yeah. Okay, pure logic. I mean, it's 50-50 at the end of the day. Uh, which pendant cost class to 500? I don't know. Honestly, this one I have no idea. I'll have to go with B. Alright, cool. 7 out of 9! I know expensive. Okay. Moving on, I want to test this on art. If I can tell expensive art from cheap art, right? Which is the most expensive one? Is that what I'm guessing? Which of these artwork is worth more? I would guess the pies. The pies look lit. Hell yeah. Who wouldn't want that? This? I wouldn't want- I wouldn't want to hang that. <laughs> what the hell is this? I can't even see what it is. I'm- I'm going with pies. Thank you. How do I pick it? I can't pick it. Are you gonna show me the answers? All right. Guess this is how we're doing it. Which of these color fields is more expensive? We got Ornament 6. That's not a pretentious title at all. Or Cherry Field by La Liza, Liza Charney. I'm gonna go with Barnet. 43 bucks! Whoa! Bruh! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Jesus Christ! That is insane! Oh, it's huge! Okay. But still, what are you? Mm. Ooh, it looks a better small. Uh, Forty-three million. <laughs> no, no, get out of here! Stop, dude. That that looks like you put masking tape in the middle. That, I bet that's what they did. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I mean, <laughs> artist subjective, Felix, and. A lot of times what you like, other people don't like, and, but, oh, oh, this, oh, this sucks, dude, this fucking sucks, this sucks so bad, this is so bad, dude, what the fuck, it's not even a good blue, it's not even a good blue, I hate it, I hate it, I hate you, 
All right, a potato. That's funny. Or slow down by a rose piper. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I this. Oh, a million, a million dollars. You know, people rip into NFTs, right? What the fuck is this then? The fuck is this? It's a nice potato, I guess. It's very detailed. How much did this painting entitled Salvador Mundi? by Leonardo da Vinci. Well, I know, you know, everyone knows Leonardo da Vinci. I feel like this is a trick question, and maybe originally it was sold for this price or something. No, it was 450 million. Okay, all right. You, that should have been obvious, really. <laughs> Bro, half a billion! Half a billion! I mean, Leonardo da Vinci. I've never seen that artwork. Like, I've seen a ton of Leonardo da Vinci. I ain't seen... It's kind of cool, though. He's holding, like, a thing, and he's doing, like, a Korean love sign, right? That's kind of sick. Looks like Jesus, too. Can you guess how much? Yeah, this is awful. This is just bad art. I don't like it. That probably means it's really expensive. Yeah, there you go. Fuck. <laughs> 233! 213, I mean. What am I looking at? I can't even tell what's legs. Whose leg is which? This looks like one of those bad optical illusion photos. We're like, is that him? Is that the point, maybe? Maybe I don't get the art? Stop it. And why are they all looking in different ways? It makes no sense, bro. Just look in the camera, dummies. Bruh. Bro, I... You know how they always say, Oh, I could draw better than that. And I always go, No, you fucking can't in my head. But I can draw better than that. And I sh I'm doing it now. Like, the legs make no sense. They look like... They look like they're in their sleep bags. He looks like a little worm. Or she. Not judging. Anyway, what price did the card player sell for? It's kind of cool. The perspective makes no sense. This guy is showing up his entire hand. It doesn't even look like cards. They haven't put down a single card on the table. It looks like two men just trading Pokemon cards or some shit. Or stamps or letters. I hope it's four million. Because that's the lot. You can amass, like, ima okay. I don't want to be the pretentious guy that says, well, imagine if you gave it all away and be, 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 be. But bruh, 250 million, you could save a country. You could, <laughs> you're right. <sighs> it, this sucks, this sucks. Can you correctly identify how much Interchange sold for? Okay, so ha here we have some abstract art, which I think gets more sh than it deserves. And it, I think this is a good example of what I was saying earlier, where people are like, I can draw that! No, you can't, okay? It takes balance, it takes colors, it takes coordination, it takes a perfect eye to find something beauty in the random shape and patterns, okay? This? But it's still, a, it's still 10 million. Ah, oh, 300 million. This one is the first one I like, actually. This is beautiful. This one I hope 500. Oh, it's the cheapest one. <laughs> Stop! What the- what is up with art? Is the rule the uglier the more it sells for? This I know the artist is uh, that guy with the R. R. The, it's a ra rock. Rock. What is his name? Is it Roch? Well, this is 86 million. Yeah, I because I know it's Rotko. Yes, Rotko. Everyone love a Rotko. Oh my god, is that a Rotko? I love it. It's like colors. The thing is like, I like it. I'm not here to hate the art. I think, yeah, it's a pretty painting. Bada... Bada... Bada 86 million? I don't... Uh -uh. It's also kind of sad. I don't know if this is true of Rotko, but I assume it is. Where... You know, the value always shoots up after the artist passes, because then there's a finite supply of these uh, artworks, and and uh, that's obviously basic economics. That makes the price surge up. So a lot of times the artist isn't paid anything, right? It's just exchange of money between rich people at the end of the day. That, uh, I mean, fine, I mean, sh you, this is, I... Uh, I kind of get it now. Like, I... No, I don't get it. I mean, I was just... Mm, I don't... Yeah. How much did... <laughs> so many thoughts. How much did number... Okay. Yeah, this is one of those crazy ones. I bet you 100 at least. 200... <laughs> uh, this looks fucking terrible. This is like the worst... No, go back. You're not getting away. You're not getting away from me. 
Who's the artist? Maybe it looks better up close. Jackson Pollock. Bro, this is bad. You know what they do with artists too? After they die, they take literally every single thing they fucking ever touched their hand on. And they try and sell it, right? When in reality, imagine if that happened to you, right? You make a little f***ing doodle, draw a penis, and you're like, I don't really like that, but whatever. People sell it and they're like, ah, this is not a representation. This feels like one of that. I'm not saying this guy is a bad artist. All I'm saying is maybe this was not his finest piece of work. Like this, I can kind of f*** it, you know? This is kind of dope. This? Yeah, even this I like. It's got red in it. I like red. Yeah, this I like too. This is dope. It's alright. I can see it. I can definitely see the eye. This is awful, right? Surely he failed sometimes. 200 millions just because it's his name, alright? I bet you even Pollock would be like, yeah, you know what? Number 17A, I was kind of just experimenting. It kind of looked like shit. But these fools, how much was Andy Warhol sold for? Sheesh! That's cr- What? The most iconic piece of art I've ever seen is less than all of these? I don't- I don't know art. I take back everything I said. I have no clue what's happening. This is crazy. What- For what price did Wheatfield sign? This is- I don't like it. I hope low. 10 million. Alright, cool. Anytime I don't like it. Anytime I don't like it. How many millions of dollars did Penning Black Fire Eye sell for? There's no fire, let me tell you that, so it fails immediately. 84. No, 80. Great. This is beautiful. I like this. 85. Nailed it! I like this. 90. How, ma how many more are they? Like, do you... Oh, it keeps going. Alright, let's move away from art, because it's just pissing me off. Let's go back to fashion. How much is this Balenciaga evening dress? 5,000. <laughs> With fashion especially, just like, the more outrageous it is, the more it costs, absolutely. And I guess it's the same with art, really. How much is this Balenciaga? Yeah, it's the most expensive one. No, it isn't. Okay. Fuck. I guess I'm wrong. There's no consistency. I don't understand any of these. How much is a three pack of cotton t-shirts from Prada? We need to call Charlie. We need Charlie to get it. Uh, three pack of Prada. <laughs> this is like the rich man's. How much is a gallon of milk? Can you can you name can you name the price of a three pack of white cotton t-shirt Prada? I think 340 or 440. I go 340. There you go. Yeah, I'm still down with my humble roots. That feels good to me. Oh god. Hey, we got the Balenciaga triple S's. They go for 995, bitch. Oh god, I knew that, didn't I? All right, I think that's it. You get it. Art is stupid. I'm smart, and uh, I think you are smart as well because you're subscribed to this channel. And so I think we learned a lot here today. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Ba 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 bro fist, a mental bro fist because you're way further than. Yeah, alright. Yeah, mental bro fist. We just linked up. That's awesome. You thought it was today, but true relevance never really died. <laughs> Welcome to the first undead game! Use any item in your inventory and make memes inside Tuber Simulator. Add some of our patented stickers in there. Stickers are emotions. Memes are emotions. Express your emotions with memes! Share them for likes. Share them for love. Get up for free! And who knows? Maybe I'll review your memes. The greatest honor of all time. Full circle, baby! Download it! Make a meme! <laughs> we need subtitles on this.